everyone. My name is Lindsay Alley, and I am the museum manager for the Historical Society of Western Virginia. And during this time um, of shutdown that we are all sort of experiencing, um, especially museums and other uh, nonprofits and cultural institutions, um, you know, spring and summer, that's usually our busiest time. And we usually welcome lots of groups um, from all over. And so we sort of have had to cancel uh, all of those so far that we would had ready for April and May. And so to try and still have a tour going through, we are going to take you through uh, gallery by gallery a different week each week and look at what we have here at the museum and we hope you enjoy. Thanks. And so we are going to start this week with the Pocahontas Gallery here at the O. Winston Link Museum. And so let's go ahead and go on in and see what we have. Okay, so the Pocahontas Gallery is the smallest gallery that we have here at the museum and it is a permanent uh, gallery for O. Winston Link photographs and I personally like the Pocahontas Gallery. It's one of my favorites um, just because the Pocahontas Gallery focuses more on the people uh, of Norfolk and Western and not necessarily um, you know the the trains or anything else it's the people that worked on the on the trains and on the railroad um, and people seem to really have a connection to this gallery um, there's actually been people that have come in and they come up and tell me later that their uncle or great-grandfather or grandmother are in some of the photos sometimes they don't know and sometimes they do know that these photos were taken so it's always um, sort of sort of fun to see people's connection to this space um, and so we're going to take a look around and we're going to see some of the photos here uh, in Pocahontas. And also in the Pocahontas Gallery, uh, you can't see it very well, the lighting is, is off here, but um, here behind me you can see a display of some of O. Winston Link's audio recordings, uh, which is something that he did while he was also out taking photos uh, along Norfolk and Western Line. And actually before he was known for his photos, his audio recordings were actually really popular. Um, and he was, he was more well known for the audio that he did and not the photos. So um, you can see some of the vinyl albums here, the covers in the display case, and there's some of the advertisements here that will, I'll take a photo as well um, and add it into the video so you can see a little bit better. But the advertisements for these audio recordings are actually really funny because um, they're, they're obviously just noises of, from trains going by and so one of the advertisements is you know ways to annoy your landlord or your mother-in-law and just different things that I think is really funny um, and I think people also you know really enjoy and these were done you know back in the 60s as well so it was just sort of a, a humorous way uh, to sort of advertise that and partially what made it so popular. 